Today we are talking about that crazy Dubai flood. Yeah. It is time for the Berardelli bonus. So this is the desert. I mean, they averaged three to four inches of rain a year, and they had a lot more than that in a matter of about 30 hours or so. You may have seen the uh, video of the airport. Uh, in some cases, there was four or five feet of water on the roadways. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And take a look at this other video where a cat, this is why they say cats have nine lives. I mean, this wins the internet. Waited until the police rescued him, and it was a success. So that is a great story out of this big flood. So I want to talk a little bit about how astonishing this flood was. There was six to 14 inches of rainfall in 48 hours. That's two to three years worth of rain in around two days. And it's about a once in a thousand year rain event in a historic climate. Why did it happen? Well, turns out a very dynamic weather pattern. Strong subtropical jet stream across Africa. Three systems moving really slowly. That one in particular is the one that affected Dubai. So it really was in the perfect spot to generate all that heavy rainfall. And if you look closely enough at this satellite, watch as it goes one more time. They got hit by one big rainstorm, then another one, then another one, then another one. So it was training over the same location. A convective complex caused several rounds of rain over the same area. We see that sometimes in Florida, but not usually in the desert. Now, what's blowing up the internet right now is that question. Was it cloud seeding? Well, the UAE does have a cloud seeding program, but I can tell you cloud seeding can only slightly, a teeny bit, enhance rainfall. It can't cause a rain bomb like we saw across the desert. Not to mention cloud seeding is based on a natural phenomena, condensation nuclei, and we had a ton of dust in this mm -hmm. area. This is an aerial view of the dust that was moving over Dubai, and so this is Mother Nature's cloud seeding. It could have acted as a force for the water to gather around those the, and make for the bigger droplets of water as well. Yeah, I mean, if in fact there was cloud seeding, it would have been completely overwhelmed by all of that natural cloud seeding. It was a ton of dust. And so, again, cloud seeding, it's possible that they did it, but it would have had a very minimal impact on that system. It was a natural system likely enhanced by climate change. That is the Berardelli bonus. If you want to send me a question, send it to weather at WFLA.com, and I'll try to use your question on the air.